You don't know, so be here now. Those are all outside of you, being controlled, um, getting sucked in the illusion of things and past and, pre past and future. So those are outside of you, right? So to take back your power, you have to focus on what you can and what's inside of you. Ah, taking you back to these trendy things that for the last 20 years have gotten us to come back in, focus back in, come back into you, right? And, and, and that is when you are learning who you are when you're doing those things, when you're focusing on inside of you, you're shining your gifts in any environment, in any environment, in any time, in any space, okay? So all that has happened in 20,000 years ago. Let's just go 20,000, an even number. I, I like a million because you have to understand how old. It's way older than that. You are all coming from alternate galaxies. We all think we're coming from some, you know, portal. You're a spark of light from, from God source energy. And you've come to multiple different realities, galaxies, energies. And, and we're just choosing to incarnate on Earth at this time. Okay. So let's just say all this that happened 20,000 years ago is no different than what's happening to you today, but you're simply more aware of how dumb it all is, how stupid this all is. And you're calling bullshit on the illusion of power instead of calling back your power to live in your own truth. That's what you're starting to do. That is the greatest power that no one can take from you to live the life that you choose. Okay, so the challenge lies when others critique your truth and they're increasing their light. Okay, so it's different when someone's critiquing, you're raising your light and they're critiquing it, critiquing it. Are you going to care? Not when you're in light mode. When you're in lighthouse mode, you give a crap less if they critique you. People criticize and judge me and name call me all the time. And I just actually think it's funny. It's kind of like the, the trolls are outing themselves now. And I mean everywhere. I don't care. Why will they do this? Because running a marathon after a huge dinner sounds terrible, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And letting go of any old bullshit beliefs, even ones that label you, get ready, a sinner, get, it's going to start happening, a loser, unworthy, religious boxes do that, right? Creates lack mind. And that may also feel painful to let go because you've been told that's the only way. So as much as you're like, logically, this doesn't seem right. I'm a sinner. I'm a loser. I'm not enough. I should suffer. Your logic brain tells you that's not okay. But your programming, the bullshit programming is telling you, but you got to stay there. So it could feel uncomfortable to let go of that. Kind of like you just say Thanksgiving dinner, heavy and weighted, and you got to go run. So it's like running or even walking when your energy is low. So it's just low and high frequency, my friends. Your job is to know you and to stay in alignment with what makes you feel light and not judge those who are not ready to see their own power as well. They will. They will. They're coming, whether they like it or not. It's just they're going slow and they're frustrating you, right? That panicky feeling. They are controllable. Yes, they are. It's not your job to change them. It's But it's your job to shine light for them to find their way out of their own darkness. Ah!